Hello everyone, I thought I would go ahead and make a how-to on making Bitmoji virtual classrooms. This is so fun. Everything that I have been reading and researching, um, it is so addictive. You'll have so much fun doing this and I'm going to show you every way to make a virtual classroom free. 100% free. I love to buy my things on Teacher Pay Teachers, my clip art, but I'm going to show you how we can do this for free. These actual classrooms will be on my Teachers Pay Teachers account under Rise Above, so they will be posted for free for you guys um, after you follow along with me on making one together. So why do a virtual classroom these are just fun. They're interactive. So many schools are turning one-to-one -one or more technology involved. And currently we are all moving more towards virtual classrooms uh, due to the times. So having a fun, interactive place where the kids can go to and then you would just link your images to exactly where you want them to go. Um, it's just really fun. It's also good to use in your classroom on your big smart board. You could have a big welcome. Um, and then this is great for you also because then all of your links could be right in one spot. Um, so when you do have this projected up on your board, then all of your links are right there in one spot. You don't have to go hunt for them. So virtual classrooms are super helpful um, and then this just makes it a little more fun so let's get started I have like I said created this one um, this one's a little bit more clip art style with a little bit of mixture of non clip art more actual images um, this one's definitely more clip art and this one I thought would be more fun if I had links to books or links to me reading books to the kids so that's why I decided to do a cute little um, painting instead of the smart board idea more like a little library okay so if you are new to Google Slides let's get started on this uh, off to the side is the row the quick look of all of your slides if you click underneath or over here double click right click um, right click then just click new slide and then boom new slide so that's great and then drag over click and drag let go and then hit the delete button because i really don't want the text okay so how do we get our classroom and all for free so i don't know if you guys knew this feature insert image yes but you can insert image search web this will automatically search um, Google, Google Images. So it doesn't search all of them. It's not the best, but it's a great place to start. So let's start. I want a wall. I'm going to click wall. Okay, so here's some images. Most of them look like real photographs. Now, if I add PNG, that stands for um, more of a transparent background. It gives me some different options. Excuse me. So, if I'm looking, there's a little bit different options. Now, if you don't like any of these options at all, you can actually go to Google and go to Google Images, and I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. So, let's do this while this one's kind of fun. Definitely very in. And I'm going to put it in the corner, and then I'm just going to drag the corners and size it how I want it. You can also format options and then mess with um, the sizing there. Okay. Now we need a floor. So, floor. Now, you kind of want one that slants in. So this image actually has a wall and a floor. So if you wanted to use that one instead. Um, so does this one. Oh, so here's a floor. Kind of slants in. Kind of what we want, right? We want it to look like 
part of the image. Um, here's another one. Okay, so I'm going to drag and drop. So all I do is click, drag over, let go. Drag and drop should be your best friend. You will learn that in Google Image or in Google Google Products, um, drag and drop is your best friend. Okay, so that's kind of a bold floor. So, hmm, <laughs> much better. So I just resized it. Okay, so I've always thought that um, the meeting between the wall and the floor when you do the separate image looks a little odd. So I click the line. See how the dot show up so I know it's on. And I'm going to click and drag and then let go in that area. See how it drew me a line? I can do the color and I, and I like to make it a little thicker so it's noticeable. Okay, so because this background is very white and black, but there's my line. If I make it a little thicker, see, it's um, very more noticeable. But if I change the color, I'm going to stick with black because I think it kind of blends a little better. So see how that just made it pop a little better, a little different. So if you do the separate floor and wall, I recommend adding that line. Okay. So now let's decorate our classroom. So a lot of us like a desk. Mm, okay, so not really gonna help me. Um, so let's do desk PNG. Okay, here's a good teacher desk. Yeah, here's a cute one, that might be too much white. Um, there's a good teacher desk, a little more clip art side. Uh, you can mix, you can do whatever you want, it's yours. Um, I'm kind of feeling this one. Just drag, drop, and then resize it. Mm, not my favorite, but we'll leave it. Okay, if I really didn't like it, I could um, come up here and go desk. And I'm in Google Images already. Ooh, I like you a lot better. There we go. Yeah. Ooh, I like this one. So here's your drag and drop trick. Are you ready? I'm going to take, click, do not let go, and drag it over to your tab. Now let go. It's creating and boom. Ooh, and this one was transparent. So I'm going to delete that one. And there we go. I kind of like you. Resize it. Okay, so the one thing that bothers me the most is this blank space. And then when I'm clicking on all my images, I can't ever seem to click on the one I want. So to crop that, you double click fast and then you grab the thicker black bar. Be careful or you end up grabbing the image, but you can always click the undo button. Okay, see how it kind of re shrank? And then if I Click out. Now, it's not as wide of an image. But I didn't mess with the image itself. I just messed with the outline of the image. Okay. Now, let's add a smart board. Now, this is where I kind of... Okay, so we didn't add PNG. We definitely add it. Okay, this is where I started not really liking or finding, see, like, ugh. So, I went to my Google image up here, Google search, and let's say smart board, transparent background, sure. Okay, so, I did know if I grabbed, dragged, and dropped, it acts like it would with that checkered background that means it's supposed to be transparent it's not so how do I get rid of it great website called remove.pg that's it so I all you do is um, grab it drag it and click um, this one did download already for me so I'm going to click download pops up right down here so all I do is go back to my classroom so it's on that one and then I'm going to take it and drag and drop. 
But you love drag and drop. I'm telling you. Okay, see, and now how it has like that huge background image. Even so, I double click and I shrink it just because when I'm trying to click on all my pieces and rearrange them, it absolutely bothers me because I'm trying to like click on all these images and these other ones are clicking and not the one I want. Okay. Not bad. Let's move our desk a little bit. Okay. So you can add plants. Excuse me. You can add, oops, let's do the PNG. Um, ooh, I think I did one plant. Plant. Yeah, so now I have this, just drag and drop. See how this is a little easier by searching um, the images already provided in the web search. Again, insert image search the web, and then that's how we're doing that. You can do an ever, you can do um, a picture, PNG. Ooh. So if you want them to go to your Facebook, those are good though. You want them to go to Instagram, which they shouldn't be, it's cool, but. Okay, not what I'm wanting. So I know I did frame. PNG. Ooh, okay, so here's some fun frames. And I think um, this is kind of fun. Drag, drop. Ooh, so even the center is see through. So you could put like a picture of yourself behind there. You could. Um, put a shape in it. I'll show you how to uh, do that. You could do text box, put a text box in it and write in it. So if I did a shape, square, rectangle, whatever it was, and I'm gonna set right in it. Okay. So I could make it, let's do that. Yellow's not that pretty with that thing. Sure. And then you don't actually have to go back and add the text box. You just click on it and start typing. Isn't that awesome? A lot of people think you have to add the text box. You really don't. I'm going to pick a fun font. I'm going to make you bold. I'm going to align it. Yeah. See? Boom frame, added um, an image in the back of it. You could find what I did also is I went painting. And you could insert a painting in your frame. I did that on this one. <laughs> See, it's a separate. I thought it was clever. Okay, so let's get your chair or your bitmoji. Um, I think it's so cute to have a chair so we can say desk chair PNG you're kind of fun all the other ones I just put in chair which I thought yeah like this guy oh this one's fun is it a background <gasps> no can I drag it Is it doing it? Can I drag you over here? No. Ooh, yes, please. I think we found a better one. See what I mean about how the, okay. Shrink it, yes. I like you a lot better. Okay, so now, do you want a rug? The same with the rug. Um, you kind of want to make sure it has a slant to it. Uh, that way, kind of looks like it's sitting on the floor. There it goes. See what I mean about how large it is? And if you click this, and then you're like, well, how do I get this? How do I get this? So I like to shrink <laughs> the. Okay, so I want the desk to kind of sit on the rug. I think I'm done with the 
images. And I'm gonna right click order. See it grabs the rug. See that? Did you see that? Right click order. Come to front. Boom. Okay, you look like you need to come. There it goes. And then the same with the chair. I'm gonna right click order. Bring front. How's that? Does it look like it's sitting on the rug? Yeah, okay. Not bad, super cute. So, multiple options. First off, you have to have Bitmoji 1, and you have to have Bitmoji Google extension. To do that, you literally can just go to Google and do Bitmoji, Let's see, extension, extension Chrome, Chrome extension, whatever, you click on it, it takes you to the web store. Mine's already downloaded, so it won't say, but you can click and add it and then activate your account. First off, you have to have it. If not, it will not do transparent backgrounds. So I'm gonna click my Bitmoji. And I've already had sitting. I just typed in sit, right? There it is, sitting. And I'm going to just click and drag. I'm telling you it's the best thing in the world, clicking and dragging. Okay, so she needs rotated. So I'm gonna right click, rotate horizontally. And there she is. Now I'm going to size her, oh, too much. Man, you look like you're hanging in that chair. All right, not bad, not bad. You can do whatever you, see how large I'm looking at. Okay, so you can do whatever you want there. That's not bad. Okay, or some people like to do a bit emoji like, yay! Or, yes! Right, you kind of want your whole body showing. Unless you want yourself standing behind something. Um, happy. So then you would drag. Oh yeah, like you can have her jump in. Get you ready to go for work. Right, you can just drag and drop all of these in. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, I know people like to do the point. Yeah, they're like, look at this, look at this. So you just drag and drop. Creating image. There she is. Right, welcome. Okay, well I want her the other way. So I'm gonna right click, rotate, horizontal. Yeah, now I'm like, hey, check out my boy. See that? Now, I would recommend then setting this as your background, then adding all of your digital links. That way they're not, you know, clicking on all of this. So, to do that, super simple. You click on the slide you want to make the image, file, download, PNG, it will pop, see, right down there. I will click new slide, get rid of all of you. Background, choose, and then take what just downloaded and drag. Drag and drop is the best feature in Google, all Google programs, I'm telling you. Then click done, and now they can't click any of it. And then this is when I would start recommending adding your links. So I have like the Google Classroom copy, paste. And then I could hit this link button. And then you could um, type in the uh, Google Classroom. Right, Google Classroom, or copy and paste your link over. See, look, Google Classroom sign in. Apply, boom. So then the kids would have that 
link right there for them. Do you see how that works? And then there's my baby glasses. So, super easy. And then after you set your background, add in all your images that you want them to click. If you want, say, a book you're reading, um, if you, okay, and then I just want an image of it. Okay, so I'm gonna just take it, drag it, drop it. Don't you guys love drag drop? I do. And say it's like sitting over here. And then let's go to YouTube. If you give a mouse a cookie, read aloud. Just pick one. And get closer. <laughs> And she like ads. Ooh, you can do Okay, so then I want that. I'm gonna right click copy. Um, and then come here. It's still on. I'm gonna click the link. Paste my link. And then boom, I would obviously change that to the correct title. So now the kids, the only things they click are um, things we want them to click that are linked. And this went directly to another tab, if you've noticed. So they can always come back to the same tab, your virtual classroom, and um, they will never lose it. You too, if you have this on your smart board and you click it, it will pop into a new tab and then you can just come back and click on it and never lose your links for digital anything which I love so I hope this helped um, you can find these on my these templates on my teacher pay teacher I will leave them unlocked I will not set them as backgrounds so you guys can use the images and kind of create your own so I hope this helps. Uh, let me know if there's anything else that you need advice on or assistance on with technology. All right, guys, enjoy your day.